We prepared a little something for you. Um, it's a game. I think in English it's called Never Have I Ever. Mm. Um, well, I think it's a common drinking game. The rules are pretty easy. I'm going to read out a statement to you. And if you did do the thing I read out, you have to drink and you have to tell the story behind it. You're going to get drunk if it's about uh, anal sex with a dog. <laughs> Damn it. No, you, you, no, you don't have to uh, drink yet. Uh, yeah. So I'm just going to explain it in German very short. Okay. Um, also wir spielen jetzt mit den Jungs Ich habe noch nie, ist ja auch in Deutschland ein relativ beliebtes Trinkspiel. Ich lese den Jungs einfach ein paar Sätze vor und wenn sie das getan haben, was ich ihnen vorlese, müssen sie trinken und uns natürlich noch die Geschichte dazu erzählen. Und wir nehmen an, die Jungs werden ziemlich betrunken hier rausgehen. Und wir fangen jetzt an. So, <lacht> we're gonna start if you're ready. First statement is pretty easy. Never have I ever worn women's underwear. Oh. Um, the whole thing? Yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> uh, I remember it clearly. I, uh, I was at, you all right? Okay. Okay. Dude, it's just vodka, dude. I know. I just, God. I've been, drink, I, uh, I've been drinking all day. Well, That's it should thing. be easy for you then. Yeah, it should be. Anyways, I, uh, I stole some ecstasy from my girlfriend's roommate, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you, you when did you have a girlfriend? I was 17. Hear my story. Okay. And I remember I took it, and I didn't know what it was, but I knew there were drugs because they were they were hidden. But I found them. It's awesome, right? So I took one of them, and I remember I was laying on her bed, and I just started having this overwhelming sensation of killer bitch and sexualness, right? And I fucking went to go take another pill, and when I lifted up her underwear, I thought, I'm gonna put this shit on. So I put it on, and I laid in her bed, and I just fucking rolled around in her bed with her underwear on, and then I jacked off. Normal story. That's good. Oh, wow. Business as usual. No, no heels though. Business as usual. Yep. How yeah. about you, buddy? What you got? Uh, I don't know. I I wear women's underwear on a regular basis. I like the way they uh, they just kind of go right up in between my balls, and you know because they're made for like women's vaginas, and my balls are like <laughs> thankfully a little bit bigger than a vagina, and they're kind of like you know. It goes right in between them and it just kind of my balls straddle some vaginas are really big though like one of what? our songs bvs is about big vagina syndrome there's like huge vaginas so some girls underwear that you wear your balls fit right in them well yeah it's like a it's like a kind of like a hammock you know what a hammock is yeah. Banana like hammock, when you go right? when you go to um fiji you know and there's a palm tree over here and a palm tree over here And uh, you hang up a little string, and you get in the, and you swing. That's a hammock. Yeah. It's like a hammock for your for your dick. Banana hammock. Yeah, banana hammock. There's also one in in Metallica. Kirk hammock. Yeah. The vodka is rising to my head. The vodka is kicking so right? much ass right now. I'm metal hammered. <laughs> so um, the next statement is: Never have I ever eaten food off the floor. <laughs> It's fucking not easy. I don't like poop and I don't like to eat food from the floor. Oh, I'm drinking. I'm drinking right now. Ugh. I hate to eat poop and I hate to eat anything that's off the floor. It's just both of them are, are disgusting. I've never eaten poop off the floor. Uh, that was the question wasn't did you eat poop off the floor? It's just have He's... you ever eaten anything on the floor, right? Oh yeah, catering today. Yeah, you know, I dropped oh, yeah. my entire plate on the floor and I just scooped it up, right back up right? put it There's, on the plate. Well, we have it. A, in America, we have this thing called the five second rule. Yeah. If you drop your food and it's not on the floor for more than five seconds, <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. You really can't catch anything. It's like when you uh, go down on the girl and you realize she smells really funky. But if you start eating within that five minute, five seconds, it's okay. The five minute rule at your house? No. Five, five day seconds. rule. <laughs> five day rule. If there's yeast on it. At least you're not going to be hungry anymore. That's right. Uh, never have I ever been to a church and a strip club the same day. Wow, that's weird. I, a matter of fact, I got married once to this girl in Vegas, and then I went to work with her. She worked at the strip club. Yeah. That, that counts. Yes, 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 yes. And then we uh, we got divorced that day. Oh, shit. 
You don't have to this time. I already know. No, I was with him that day. Oh, well, then you do. Never have I ever smuggled someone or something into another country. I smuggled, I smuggled drugs into Germany. No, you didn't. What? I just, just today, from Poland. Are you serious? That's why I drank. That's awesome. Thank Good you. job. Did you really? Thank you. Oh my god. What did you smuggle? I'm not gonna tell you what I smuggled. I just smuggled illegal drugs into Germany today. It's, well, it's pretty easy to do that. But I did. That's my story. I mean, I don't want to tell you the details. I don't want to get arrested here in Berlin. Well, hey, just make sure that when you poop, it's on the floor and not in the toilet. I got you. I got you. I smuggled my turtle in here because they don't let animals into the border to Australia. So I put my turtle in my butt. Is it still there? Stayed there. Oh. Just a turtle head now. Smells like it. Stop it, Satchel. She's not a smelly turtle. But that turtle's having a good time. He is having a good time. What? What's his name? Sherman. Sherman? Sherman Sherman, Sherman the turtle? Sherman? How are you going to get Sherman out? I'm going to poop him out soon. I don't don't smuggle anything. Because I'm more... Looks like you're smuggling plums right now. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. So I think the next one is for Lexi. Never have I ever killed an animal when not hunting. Good luck. Yes, one time a bird flew into my car. And what happened? Well, my had my windows rolled up, and you know how birds can't like see good when it's when there's a window there. And I was on this really, really, really high freeway. Well, I didn't do it. My mom did it. Does that count? Because my mom was driving, and I was just chilling, messing with the radio stations. And I heard this whap! And then there's this little itty bitty baby bird splattered all over my side of the window, and it scared the dickens out of me. Your mom should drink. Your, Your mom, mom should drink. Just keep off my mom. Never have I ever stopped kissing or having sex to ask, what's your name again? <laughs> See, that's How what I'm talking about. How strange is that? Never had I ever been able to read your mind. Oh my Woo! god! Well, drink up, Michael. What's your name again? I mean, <laughs> did you drink up? Hey, Lexi, come I mean, on. I did. It's nuts. Never happened to me. So you, I don't have no, to. Come on, remember Randy? <laughs> after after I pounded her vagina, then I asked her. Here's the fucking Germany kissing. and Berlin, bro, where the pussy's wet and the metal's hot. <laughs> You okay, man? Mm. That's killer. Michael, you just spit uh, vodka everywhere. <laughs> vodka. There's vodka everywhere. Never have I ever been put to sleep on my belly or side so I wouldn't choke on my own vomit. Uh, oh, now I have it. Bitch. Definitely. Uh, if I can remember to last night. Oh, school, Tommy Fun. Ugh. Oh, Your bunk was smelly, huh? Because his bunk is below mine, and I rolled over and just let it go. He threw up in my bunk. And I had goulash just before that, because we just got back from Russia. Stop talking about that. Oh, listen up. Never have I ever thrown up on a stranger. Oh, God. God damn it. Now These I... are... Well, just like I remember last night. Oh, God. One night, it's okay. and I burped, and didn't, like didn't my dinner came up. And I spit out in the audience. Did they like it? No, everyone was pissed. I didn't mean to do it. It's just I came up and then it went through my nose. It made me sneeze and it just came out. I threw up on a stranger not too long ago. It was a couple weeks ago when we were on tour. We were in uh, like Denmark or something. And there was a stranger. It was this girl. And she was sucking on my dick backstage. And I barfed on her head while she was sucking on my dick. And... Is awesome. She finished, right? She totally finished. A fucking commitment. I now, like that. That's I don't think she knew that I had barfed on her until she was done. Didn't take me long, though. Never have I ever pretended I was Russian. I've never pretended I was Russian. Me either. But I have. I, I've been Russian before. I'm going to be Russian to the toilet after this. No doubt about it. I don't know if that's a brown growler or a turtle. Yeah, I think it's Sherman. You Russian or Saudi Arabia? I've never pretended to be Russian. Ever in my life. Well, finally, we found something you didn't do. That's a good thing, I guess.
We've lived very full lives. Yeah. I mean, fuck, the stuff that we've done is you just... You have to say fuck. God, this is rude. Sorry. I mean, the stuff that we've done is just... Un- fuck not- yeah, ass. It's fucking bitching, right? Yeah, fuck we've yeah. Done, we've done it all. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, I've gone And more skiing. than that, we've done it all way. Cha-cha-cha-cha. <laughs>